Hello, I'm Sam Durant, and uh, I'm very happy to have the show my work uh, about the anarchism in Italy here in Carrara, where uh, the sculptures were made. Uh, it's it's uh, the show here for me is. Uh, uh, really fantastic. It's a beautiful venue, and the work I think somehow has a, a liveliness to it here. Um, it's very interesting because uh, the marble, so much about uh, the permanence and the remembering monuments and memorials, uh, but here somehow it seems uh, it seems to be living. It seems to be uh, contemporary. I first uh, became interested in uh, anarchism in, in Italy uh, because I grew up in, in, in Boston with a very strong uh, Italian-American community and a very strong connection of, of anarchism. There was the famous case of Sacco and Vanzetti who were, were executed uh, in the early 20th century, which uh, I learned about as a, as a young boy in school. So I think it's uh, uh, an interest of mine from a long time and uh, wanting to do a show in Italy and wanting to work with uh, Marble, um, the connection to anarchism here historically and, and also in the present day uh, was, was perfect to make the works. Um, I chose uh, to make some uh, what I call uh, unfinished monuments to some uh, very well-known anarchists, but also uh, some uh, unknown or, or not well-known. Uh, Renzo Novatore, of course, um, was not well-known as an anarchist. He was a futurist poet, and I like the uh, fact that uh, not all the futurists were became fascists. Some, some fought against fascism, many fought against fascism, and Novatore was one of the important ones. Uh, also, um, uh, uh, um, uh, Gino Lucetti, who was uh, uh, so famous for trying to assassinate Mussolini in Rome, uh, who was from Carrara and is, of course, remembered very well here. Um, Mary Louise Bernieri, whose father was also a very, very famous uh, political activist and anarchist here in Italy, and she herself became very active uh, in, in exile in France and England. Um, and I also was interested in, in the connection uh, to uh, what's happening today in the marble uh, industry here. Uh, much of the marble is being used to, just to, for commercial purposes, uh, for even just to make the calcium carbonate uh, to put in other products. Uh, so I reproduced, we reproduced a bag of the material uh, in marble, and uh, of course the black powder that's used was used to to. Um, quarry uh, the marble originally, and then the, the anarchists learned to make bombs and so forth, uh, w you know, from their experiences working in the quarries. Um, and the, the, the working with uh, uh, Maria Teresa Talara uh, and the workers and the carvers at the studio uh, was, was a big part of the project, and I, I made the names of all the people who worked on the actual uh, sculptures uh, part of the titles, because I think it's uh, those people that made the work, it's very important that they be recognized by the visitors and anyone who looks at the sculpture. They're part of the work, uh, and they're part of the, um, the history that, the, that these works are dedicated to. So I wanted to sort of include uh, as much as I could into the works. The people who made them, where they came from, here in Carrara, and uh, the history uh, of uh, opposition and uh, political struggle that the anarchist movement um, 
represented then and, and, and continues to represent now in, in Carrara. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's really a, a great opportunity. I'm very happy that it's, that it's here. And uh, I hope uh, the community here enjoys uh, and appreciates uh, the project.